Hey guys, my name is Ben Arthur and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now when it comes to carrying my stuff around on a day-to-day -day basis, there's only one type of bag that I really use. It's almost always a backpack. Admittedly, there are loads of different types of bags out there, some of which can look really cool and stylish. But for me, I can't do without the practical functionality of a backpack. They're super easy to use and because the weight is spread over two shoulders, it makes them really comfortable to wear. You can wear these for really long periods of time without your back hurting. And in that backpack, I normally take a set few things. And I thought it would be a good idea to share those everyday essentials with you. Maybe to give you some ideas because some of these things in the bag you may not have considered before and some of them I really can't live without. So let's sit down and take a look at what's in my backpack. A quick bit about the bag to start with. This one's been provided by our awesome video sponsor, Carl Friedrich. I've been absolutely chuffed a bit with it and I'm so pleased because it's such a big upgrade of my old backpack. That one was falling apart, it was a piece of garbage and I switched to this one over the last few weeks and I've just been blown away by the quality of it. It's a great size for me, it's got just enough room for my stuff. The leather used is nice, it's soft and supple, but it still gives a nice structure to the bag. I've been really pleased with these zips as well. This is an area that I've had loads of trouble with in the past. On cheap bags where the zips just rip straight off, these seem like they're gonna hold up really well for a long time. And that's kind of the theme for the overall construction of this bag. This is a premium backpack that does come in at a premium cost, but the styling is nice and timeless and minimal, and it's so well constructed that this is the type of bag that's gonna last you a lifetime. So in the long run, it's gonna prove really good value for money. This one comes in a bunch of colors. There's also like a slightly slimmer version as well. You'll find a link to Carl Friedrich in the description below. I don't go to school anymore, but I kind of feel like this type of backpack is more of a grown-ups backpack, really. And it still looks quite professional. If you're in the market for a backpack yourself, I can't recommend this one more. Now let's take a look inside. Now some of the things I have to take with me almost everywhere I go is various types of creams. I was lucky enough to be born with a multitude of fantastic skin conditions, meaning that my skin gets super crispy super fast, it's really not nice, and as such, I carry with me normally about two creams. One's more of a general moisturizer, this is from Aveeno. I really like this stuff, it's one of the few moisturizing ones that isn't super greasy, and you can get them in the small bottles like this which are perfect for fitting in a backpack. And then the other one is some stronger prescription stuff. Definitely go and see your doctor before buying any of this. I have to keep applying creams throughout the day to keep my skin somewhat supple, and as such, I have to carry them with me. Outside of them, arguably the most useful thing that I carry with me in my backpack is one of these. If you're in the UK, there isn't much that comes in more handy than an umbrella. You can set out one day and it'd be completely fine, clear skies and sunny, and then a couple of hours later, it's driving down with rain. So I always make sure I take an umbrella with me on the go because there's nothing less stylish than being soaked to the skin. This one is a bit more of a, a heavy duty one. You can get some that come in slightly smaller packages than this, but most of them I find just fall to bits. This is one of the ones that automatically opens when you press a button, which just means it's dead quick and easy. So if the weather turns on me, I'm always prepared. Another one of my favorites is this water bottle because you've got to stay hydrated throughout the day. I like drinking loads of water anyway, and I like this bottle because it's kind of cool. You'll notice it's extremely slim, which means that it perfectly slots into your backpack and saves loads of space. And it still has quite high capacity, so I really like this. And it's definitely a better shape for storage compared to the regular bottles. This one also features a separate snack compartment, which to be honest, I've never used, but it's certainly pretty handy. Next on the list is, of course, a wallet. Sometimes I'll store this in like an inside pocket in a jacket. Basically, it depends on whether I think I'm gonna get mugged or not, but often I will store it in my backpack. I've recently been testing out this one, which is from Carl Friedrich who make the bag. They sent it to me as like an extra piece. Handmade in Italy as well, and it definitely feels good quality, but I'm still giving this one a bit more of a test to see if it's something that I'll actually use practically. Has really easy access to loads of cards, which I've taken out so that none of you can see the numbers. <laughs> but this one's nice and small, easily fits in tight pockets and stuff, or in one of the slots in the bag. This next one is a necessity because this phone has terrible battery life, and that is a power bank. This one's from Anchor, who I've used with several different electronic products before and I've been really pleased with. And it's quite a big one, but it's got like 24,000 milliamp hours, whatever it's called. Basically, it's got a huge capacity that can easily charge this phone a good seven, eight times, which is perfect if you're out and about. Loads of times, if I'm in a city that I don't know, I'll be using maps on my phone. 
which as you might know, destroys the battery life, leaving me powerless for a large portion of the day. Loads of times, I don't wanna be taking like a regular charger around with me. You can't find sockets to plug them in anyway. Whereas this is much more easy and convenient. You can just have it charging in your bag even. Maybe not the safest tip, but it nonetheless works. Really useful on long distance trips as well if you're on the train or something. I use this thing all the time, really useful. And it also comes in handy for charging the next thing on my list, which I normally store in one of these smaller front pockets, and that is a pair of wireless Bluetooth earphones. These are also just some cheap ones from Anchor. Years ago, I never really saw the point of these. I always went with the wired ones, but it's so nice to not have the extra dangling wire around with you, especially if you're traveling or doing exercise, you don't need that mess, whereas these have a much smaller form factor. The connection to your phone's quite quick as well. If you haven't tried the Bluetooth headphones before, I definitely recommend giving them a go at least, especially these days now that more and more phones don't have the headphone jack in the bottom. As with many of them, they also come with the magnets as well so that you can rest them around your neck when you're not using them, which is really convenient you don't have to try and store them in a pocket. Definitely worth having and keeping in your backpack. One thing that you'll sometimes find in my backpack is my laptop and it just about squeezes into this backpack. This comes in handy sometimes if we wanna look at emails and stuff. To be honest, it probably needs replacing. I do most of my work on a desktop computer, and this laptop is chunky and ancient. But from time to time, I do find some use out of it, which is why I haven't binned it yet. Another thing that makes my life easier every day, and I always keep in my backpack, is glasses. Because even though on my videos, you don't really see me wearing these, my eyesight isn't the best, and I'm supposed to wear glasses. The reason I don't wear them on camera is because you can see all the reflections collections and to be fair I, I don't really like these or any cheap pair of glasses but sometimes I need them to be able to see stuff so normally I'll either have my glasses in my bag or some form of sunglasses because if it's really bright outside or if the weather starts to change a bit throughout the day as it does in the UK you end up needing them later in the day so if it's just something small like this I can afford to carry it around with me and the last two things really make me smell better one of which is chewing gum because if you've got death breath then no one's gonna want to talk to you especially if you're going out for a meal or something just for hygiene reasons these can be useful i also generally prefer these than mints because loads of different mints come in shaky containers so you sound like a human maraca as you're walking along but with most gum you don't really get that so that's why i choose these and the final thing that i tend to keep with me regularly is one of these now you're wondering ben why have you got lipstick in your bag and it kind of looks like that and it even twists as well but it's not lipstick this one's actually a mini fragrance disperser that you can fill up with your favorite fragrance and take it with you in this container that kind of pops up so you can use it, pops back down, and it's in a really small form factor, so it's better than taking your whole bottle of fragrance with you. This one might not always be necessary, but it's definitely very useful if you're going somewhere where you might be sweating or if you're staying somewhere overnight and don't want to have to take the big bottle of fragrance with you. This has come in handy a few times, actually. I definitely recommend picking at least one of them up because it doesn't exactly take up a lot of space. And to be honest, normally that's about it. That's my 10 essentials that I tend to take with me everywhere. And there are a few other things that occasionally might make it into the backpack, but not most of the time. I'm a simple man. I like simple things. Either way, hopefully you found this video useful. Press the like button if you did. And if you want to pick up one of these awesome Carl Friedrich backpacks, there's a link in the description. You're probably going to see me with this backpack for many years to come. There's also a special offer for you down in the description, so make sure you definitely use that if you want to get one of these. Either way, I'll see you in the next one, boys.